One of the biggest misconceptions about acne, that it's one and done. In today's Positive Parenting, we hope to clear up fact from fiction. School supplies might not be the only thing your adolescent is bringing back to school. Acne, it can be painful in more ways than one. Ann Sabatine is a nurse practitioner at Advanced Dermatology and Skin Cancer Center in Boardman. Kids and adults can take comfort in knowing they're not alone. So acne is the most common skin care condition. Homecoming morning comes with a runaway zit or chronic acne. For the adolescent years, it's almost like a rite of passage. Here are some of the reasons why. There's some data out there that says it could be attributed to diet. We know that genetics is a key player in this, as well as some cosmetics that um, some patients use. Um, other things like football helmets or areas of pressure and exercise. Hands off. Popping pimples, not recommended. When we touch or pick our breakouts, we introduce more dirt and bacteria into those spots, which can lead to bigger ordeals of infection. Also by poking and prodding can lead to scarring down the line, and sometimes that can be more difficult to treat than the acne itself. Hot compresses, also a no-no. Is to wash your face two times a day, really just using lukewarm water, and a gentle cleanser is truly all that you need. I also encourage washing your face after any exercise or sweaty activity. For teenage girls, Anne knows what you're going through. Even myself having gone through acne, this is no stranger. It's something that we see and we treat every day and we will work and do our best to get you to that point of clearance. For Positive Parenting in Boardman, Jim Loboy, WYTV 33 News.